The Northrop YF-23 Black Widow II stands as a testament to the relentless pursuit of aviation excellence. A true marvel of engineering, the YF-23 embodied cutting-edge technology and a radical design that pushed the boundaries of what was considered possible in the realm of fighter aircraft. Conceived during the latter stages of the Cold War, the YF-23 was intended to be the United States Air Force's next-generation air superiority fighter, designed to dominate the skies of the 21st century. The YF-23 emerged as a front-runner in the Advanced Tactical Fighter Program, a fiercely contested competition that sought to replace the venerable F-15 Eagle. Pitted against the Lockheed Martin YF-22, the YF-23 captivated the world with its sleek, futuristic design and awe-inspiring capabilities. Despite its technological prowess and undeniable potential, the YF-23 ultimately lost the ATF competition to the YF-22, which went on to become the formidable F-22 Raptor. Despite its untimely demise, the YF-23's legacy has endured, serving as a source of inspiration for aviation enthusiasts and engineers alike. The YF-23's story is one of ambition, innovation, and unfulfilled potential, a tale that continues to fascinate and inspire decades after its last flight. This essay delves into the history of the YF-23, exploring its design, capabilities, and the circumstances surrounding its defeat in the ATF competition. Furthermore, we will examine the YF-23's potential influence on modern fighter jet development, particularly in the context of Japan's burgeoning aerospace industry and its pursuit of advanced fighter technology through programs like the FX and the Global Combat Air Program. The YF-23 story, though tinged with a hint of what if, offers valuable insights into the evolution of fighter aircraft and the enduring quest for air dominance. The Northrop YF-23 was a radical departure from conventional fighter jet design, prioritizing stealth and speed as its primary attributes. Developed by Northrop Grumman in collaboration with McDonnell Douglas, the YF-23 embodied a design philosophy that emphasized low observability to enemy radar and supersonic cruising capability, known as Super Cruise. One of the most striking features of the YF-23 was its distinctive diamond-shaped wing, a design choice that minimized its radar cross-section, making it significantly more difficult to detect by enemy radar systems. Unlike traditional fighter jets, the YF-23 lacked horizontal stabilizers, further reducing its radar cross-section and contributing to its stealthy profile. This unconventional design, while aerodynamically sound, presented challenges in terms of maneuverability, a factor that would later play a role in its fate. Two prototypes of the YF-23 were built, each powered by a different engine type. The Black Widow II demonstrator was equipped with Pratt & Whitney YF-119 engines, while the Grey Ghost demonstrator utilized General Electric YF-120 engines. Both engine variants enabled the YF-23 to achieve impressive performance figures, including a top speed exceeding Mach 2.2 and a super cruise capability of Mach 1.8. The YF-23 boasted an internal weapons bay that could accommodate a range of air-to-air -air missiles, including four AIM-120 AMRAMs or AIM-7 Sparrows. Additionally, it was armed with two AIM-9 Sidewinder missiles for short-range engagements and an M61 Vulcan cannon for close-in dogfights. The YF-23's combination of stealth, speed, and firepower made it a formidable opponent in any potential air combat scenario. The Advanced Tactical Fighter Competition was one of the most closely watched and fiercely contested procurement programs in aviation history. The stakes were high, with the winner poised to shape the future of air combat for decades to come. The YF-23, with its advanced stealth capabilities and impressive performance figures, was considered a strong contender from the outset. However, the YF-22, while less stealthy and with a shorter range, possessed superior maneuverability due to its thrust vectoring capabilities. Thrust vectoring allowed the YF-22 to direct its engine thrust independently of its flight path, enabling it to perform tight turns and aggressive maneuvers that the YF-23 could not match. Lockheed Martin, the company behind the YF-22, also benefited from a perception of stronger program management and a more cost-effective approach. In the end, these factors contributed to the YF-22's selection as the winner of the ATF competition in 1991. The YF-23 program was subsequently cancelled, 
and the two existing prototypes were relegated to museum display. The YF-22, meanwhile, entered service with the United States Air Force as the F-22 Raptor, becoming one of the most capable and feared fighter jets in the world. The YF-23's defeat in the ATF competition was a significant setback for Northrop Grumman, but it did not diminish the aircraft's technological achievements or its impact on subsequent fighter jet design. The YF-23's legacy lived on, inspiring future generations of engineers and reminding the world of the importance of innovation and the relentless pursuit of excellence. Japan has always been at the forefront of technological advancements in aviation, but the quest for air superiority is not just about technology, it's about strategy and vision. Over the years, Japan has invested heavily in developing its own fighter jets, aiming to create a fleet that can dominate the skies. This relentless pursuit has led to the creation of some of the most advanced aircraft in the world. The Global Combat Air Program, or GCAP, represents a significant step forward in international defense collaboration. At the heart of this program is the Tempest Fighter, a cutting-edge aircraft designed to meet the challenges of modern warfare. With its advanced stealth capabilities, powerful engines, and state-of-the-art avionics, the Tempest Fighter is poised to redefine air combat. Countries around the world are watching closely as the GC app sets new standards for what a fighter jet can achieve. It's interesting to consider whether the YF-23, with its unique design and advanced technologies, could have influenced Japan's fighter jet program. While the YF-23 was ultimately not selected by the U.S. Air Force, its innovative features and performance capabilities left a lasting impression on the aviation community. Japan, always keen to adopt and adapt the best technologies, may have drawn inspiration from the YF-23 as it developed its own next-generation fighters. The YF-23, despite not entering production, has secured its place as an aviation icon. Its legacy endures through the technological advancements it introduced and the influence it had on future aircraft designs. The story of the YF-23 is a testament to the spirit of innovation and the relentless pursuit of excellence in aviation. As we look to the future, the lessons learned from the YF-23 continue to inspire new generations of engineers and pilots, ensuring that its impact will be felt for many years to come.